Hi guys, my name's Hannah, and I'm the C5 Nut. Well, yes. Um, this video to the normal people would be, um, well, we, technically, we haven't done, um, the National yet, but we have. It's just, I've got to, uh, I've been asked not to do the video just yet. Uh, because there's a little surprise uh, in the video so um, the powers of be has asked me just to hold back for the minute so yeah the Chevron of the National was the weekend literally we're Monday so weekend just literally gone uh, I will say it was fantastic even though um, the weather was crap on Friday and partly crap on sort of Saturday, but it sort of did ease up a little bit. Sunday was a good sort of uh, turnout as well. Um, I want to say, so I can say this, uh, I just want to say thank you very much for everyone who has supported me during that weekend. It's been fantastic. Obviously, I've met quite a few other people and also a lot of my friends, obviously, uh, I've got quite a lot of friends in the Citroen world, so it's, it's good to uh, catch up with some of them. Um, right, so Monday, um, I'm not working today, and I haven't, I'm not working tomorrow either, so it means I get to catch up on little bits of video. So, um, quite a lot of people, uh, especially over the weekend, don't actually realise that the estates have the tailgate, uh, the glass bit actually pop up. Now, majority of the time they don't always work i mean back in the day they used to work pretty well but after about two three years things start to fall apart and it stops working so basically all we're going to do today is well i found a way on how to make it work uh with a simple um basically just a, a little push button you know Push button on a bit of wire. Okay, I put some heat shrink around it and just make it look nice and pretty. Uh, but yeah, a little push button. Um, that will then make the tailgate work. So uh, there is other ways you can do it. You can just use a bit of string and just poke it out for the side. But uh, that's what I've done as a temporary thing for somebody. But doesn't really look good in my, you know, in, in my thing. So um, yeah, we're gonna fit that so um yeah what can i say um i know it's not sunny in a workshop but if i was to i'm trying to grow my hair i mean i had hair right down here so i'm, I'm trying to grow it back up again so i'm using yeah just as a hair band just to keep my hair out of the way while i'm doing video so Right, I'm going to flip the camera around and let's see what we're going to do to Diamond. So as you can see guys, Diamond is back in the workshop again. And I tell you what, I cannot be any more happy with the, the way this car performed. Uh, she did so, so well over the weekend. Um, we did just, uh, was it just over? Just over 400 miles and uh, she was also towing a caravan on the back um, 1.8 petrol yeah she's quite rare uh, she is an LX but we all know on the channel that's not the case so um, yeah so let's go around the back and obviously we've got the tailgate now there is the actual glass actually splits from the tailgate. So you can still technically open it, um, like so, but it just leaves the glass behind. Now my sp well, struts or springs that hold the door open um, is faulty, which is good news for you guys because it means I can do another video. Um, the parts are on order, so we're looking about a couple of well, possibly about a week, maybe two, before I do a video on how to change the rear boot uh, struts. But today's video is talking about this glass. Right, now, the reason why 
These glasses don't work very well here. So on the actual wiper themselves, there's like a little switch. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. Maybe the lighting isn't doing it any good. You just see that there, there's a little switch just there. And that normally fails. Well, two things that fail. One is the switch that fails, but then the actual wire is actually built into the glass and it comes down to here. So you actually got the proper wire there, but then it goes into this plastic thing, which then basically the, the wire is actually inside the actual glass. Now what I used to do back in the day was link a wire from here and sort of glued it to the glass all the way to here. But I just recently found out that after about two, maybe three years, the switch also fails as well. Now I'm just not, yet. Yeah, okay, you could try and spend a bit of time trying to get it all done and all that. Unfortunately, this uh, case uh, will not come away from the glass anymore. It's actually um, solid. So unfortunately I can't take that bit off to get to the wire. So uh, what I am gonna do instead is let's just close that. Obviously open the boot. And guys, you know, ugh, the trusty old broomstick. Now, I think they should uh, make that as part of a Citroen sort of tool, you know? But mind you, they might charge like 50, 60 quid just for a broomstick. But it does when it needs to do, it just holds the boot. Uh, right, so I still haven't, ten, well, I it was only literally yesterday that we came back, so I still got quite a lot of stuff in the boot, but I will dump all of that out. I have taken part of the inner part of the passenger side, and I'm gonna pull this cover off um, just so that we can actually see um, what wire we need. So guys, bear with me for a couple of minutes. Let me just dump all this junk out, and I'll bring you back. Okay guys, so as you can see, I've just taken all the stuff out. I've also taken the plastic panel out. So I'll just get in. Now I'm gonna need a torch because uh, it's getting dark in here. I'll stick some light on the subject. Uh, let's go that one. That way. Uh, hopefully that will be fine. Right, so literally, um, there's two bolts here. Um, there is a clip that holds that bit in. Um, now, <clears throat> uh, last week, um, I was actually in here just changing the trailer module for the, uh, the electrics for the C5 caravan. Uh, because obviously since I've changed uh, all the wiring on the caravan, um, I had to do quite a lot of upgrades um, for the car as well so uh, and all this is is called a it's a seven-way bypass relay uh, basically it just senses what the lights are doing and obviously instead of nicking the power from the lights uh, this actually has its own power and puts its own power down through the socket into the caravan so in an event of electrical short or something didn't quite work properly or something happening with the wiring, it doesn't short out the lights. All it actually does is it will just blow the fuse for this. Um, now on the C5s, they should really be fitted. Uh, unfortunately, this particular car wasn't. Some nice person's used, yeah, yeah, what can I say? Uh, the scotch locks, and they literally, the wires went straight down to the light, and um, you know, the, the the, the socket. Uh, this is a massive no-no. Um, I'm surprised that the computer in the car didn't actually complain, uh, but then it is an LX. It probably doesn't have the bulb fail safe um, normal thing that goes on in there. Uh, now you do see this extra cable here, um, this two pin just here. That is actually uh, the power for um, the trailer module if you went and got a proper Citroen module um, I'm not entirely sure if they still make them uh, but my gut feeling is um, if they do make them they're probably about 200 pound for the kit 
uh, unlike this one which a seven way bypass relay say like Halfords could probably set you back about £45 so uh, what I'm going to do spend the £200 or spend the £45 thingy me bob to get this in um, obviously this is aftermarket it's perfectly fine to work in the C5 also I'll just quickly zoom in a little bit there is a earth thing which is really handy um, I do like the estates I mean they were um, sort of set up for um, you know the, the engineers did you know design the car uh, knowing that at some point in its life it will have a tow bar so thank you very much engineers for doing that right so we're in this area so this is the plug you want to go to now I have when I was actually rewiring this uh, I was actually going to do another video about the glass but I sort of ran out of time uh, now on this particular one again if we somehow pull this off uh, again I'm trying to do this one handed which is never good um, there is some numbers now if I remember rightly there's numbers just on the back here now the one this is a, a 16 pin plug and we want pin number 14 which is this one here now I've already marked what wire it is <clears throat> now I will say uh, you could uh, let me just zoom out you could go down at the BSI end and locate the wire but I have known through recent experience with the Mark 1s especially the LX's and the exclusives not to mention the faceless i.e. the um, uh, was it the Mark 2s that sometimes this particular wire gets put somewhere different on the actual BSI so even if I went directly to the BSI and said look this is the wire you want it may work for your car it may not so this is the way that I know that I know is going to work for every C5 estate right so what I've actually done at the same time as running the power for this I actually run an additional cable which is this nice blue and white cable it's just you know you don't necessarily need to have this particular cable uh, but it's one I had on the shelf um, so I literally ran it the same, the sort of full length of the car, the other end of it is down at the front. What I'm going to do is pin 14 on here, I will be cutting the wire and then basically linking this directly to that plug. Now you could cut the wire on this end, but then if you ever change the tailgate, you then got to somehow disconnect the epoxy wire that you soldered in or something like that at least if it's on the car end um, you still got the full function of this plug to actually physically disconnect it so um, yeah what I'm going to do like I say is pin 14 I'll cut it join this wire to the plug um, the actual other end of the wire just tape up but make sure it's not touching anything um, but yeah, we're just going to connect that. Now down at the other end, um, I have got a bit of a confession to make. Um, I thought I had already done it, but clearly I didn't. And uh, I hate to say, uh, actually I'm just going to turn the ignition on, but is it going to work? Come on naughty person traffic master was actually fully working um, and just like that bloody because I changed the stereo um, so you know, I had to change the stereo because it's got Bluetooth I need Bluetooth for work purposes because I'm always on call uh, literally as I was <laughs> playing around with the buttons here my phone decides to link up with the uh, the old stereo and then cuts off the camera uh, thank you to myself for leaving bluetooth on uh, but i can now say that i've actually switched it off so we should be all right but we should be able to just hit that and it used to go um traffic master but it's not playing ball 
Awesome. Let's just quickly start it up. Right, is he gonna say it? No! It's lied to me. Um, right, so at the same time, guys, we are gonna remove Traffic Master uh, because that is, in my case, a load of um, rubbish. So, um, yeah, um, it kind of works out for both actually because I need to run the cable through the back of the stereo anyway. Uh, now, the plans for, I'll just get into the car. Now, I don't like sticking extra holes and all that stuff into the dash and, you know, and all that. Now, there is a LED light uh, just there. Now, I did actually pop it through. It's just a hole at the moment. Now, I thought I could stick that switch into that hole. And, okay, it's a hole um, that is getting used. It's possibly maybe slightly inconvenient sticking it up there but i'd rather not have any more holes around here now i will be linking it so that the ignition needs to be switched on in order for the button to work because if you hardwire it say like to the battery if you opened up your window slightly ajar and someone knows about the button they can just hit the button and open up the tailgate and all look they've got into your car so you need to think of from a safety point of view. But at the same time, uh, you know, some people might think that might be an alarm switch. So, hey, yeah, there's a double sword there. But, yeah, this is how I'm going to do it. Um, now, we can go in through the, um, the uh, glove box with regards to, uh, you know, piggyback fuses and stuff like that. I will go out like that through another day. Um, I will quickly show you two seconds. So I'm now down at the other side. Um, yeah, in here, it's looking a bit crazy in there. Um, I've actually got two uh, piggybacks that I'm already using. Um, try and zoom in a little bit more. So these are the piggyback fuses. Uh, like I said, I've got two of them already in there. Um, I'm wanting to upgrade uh, some of the wiring anyway, so as a temporary fix. Instead of me going into the BSI again, I'm just going to piggyback off the cigarette lighter. But I will say it will have its own fuse because the cigarette lighter is only running at 15 amps. And obviously you don't want to put 15 amps through that switch. The switch is actually rated, uh, off the top of my head, is about an amp. You could get away with two amps, uh, which is about reasonable for the size of the switch. Um, so really, you want to fuse either one amp fuse or two amp fuse um, to go in that fuse holder. Uh, and then that will be more than enough to actually trigger the lock on the, uh, the rear tailgate. Now, I'm going to leave that off for a second. But here's the other end to the cable. So I've left quite a lot of it. Obviously, it's, I've still got to feed it through. Now, because we are needing to get... Well, because we are fitting the switch at the top, I need access to the back of the stereo. And while we're in this area, we are going to do a um, Traffic Master Delete. So in order to do that, we've got to pull this inner panel off here. So again, what we've got to do is pull the old pocket out uh, there is uh, two 10 mil nuts right down at the back this will then lift up and slide back we only need sort of like a couple of centimeters or so uh, just to free up the front uh, what I'm gonna do I'll quickly do that and I'll bring you back okay guys so I've now removed two 10 mils and I've moved this back as far as I can now the eagle eyes would have spotted this um, I've actually removed uh, the old cigarette lighter and basically glued in a USB port um, I did have to make a slight modification to the base here in order for it to sit properly um, but yeah that's what I end up doing with that so what you need to do is basically pull this back far enough so you can just get down to here now, looking on the side of the panel here, get my trusty light and pull this back. 
you see this hole just here now you need to get your trusty uh, T20 uh, put that in there and basically there's a screw take the screw out I'm gonna try this in one go all right I think the screws now coming out which it is right should be able to pull that panel out it might be eclipsed just down here but again you should be able to just pull that out of the way all right now just behind this panel just here you see some plugs uh, that might be a bit stuck there we go all right now oh, it's quite a lot of it as you can see there now these particular ones are uh, the cables for that bloody annoying traffic master now what you need to do is unplug these see if i can do this one-handed can i do it yep yeah, there's one try and do another one can i do this right. what you want is the male end which is this end right this needs to go back up towards the radio this side however you can actually cut off but before we actually cut it off um, there is a little gap just up where my fingers are like a channel and a channel actually goes all the way up there all the way to the side of the um, dashboard to the stereo uh, literally there's just a little channel where you can push the wires up there um, this other wire here um, goes to uh, the LED light um, and there is another plug lurking about somewhere uh, for the switch uh, <clears throat> yeah so this is the wire for the stereo now I will say the Mark II's um, there is a slight uh, different variation with the plug um, I'm in the process of trying to persuade my mate who's got a Mark II to say look can I um, get rid of um, traffic master for your car and if he agrees i should be able to bring you guys along and tell you which wire needs to be what and run that back over because obviously the plugs are different so um yeah it's only on the mark ones uh c5 so we're talking from i would say late 2000s up to about 2004 sort of era of cars that actually have this so guys what i need to do is pull the stereo out now you lovely folk who got the C5s are probably blessed with the original stereo, which means if you go to the corner here, you just stick a screwdriver in there and leave it back. Uh, me, because I'm a right peasant, because of work commitments and all that, I don't actually have that option. Um, so this is actually an aftermarket plate. Um, so the stereo is clipped in with its cage, but there is no screws holding it in. Um, so I need to find the the tool releasing, you know, the, the, the tool that normally comes with the stereos to release the clips, pull the stereo out um, in order for me to get into the back. So guys, what I'm going to do, I'm going to pause the video, uh, I quickly pull the stereo out, and then what I'm going to do is feed the cables up in there and I'll bring you back okay guys so I've now taken the stereo out um, and the ba basically the tube that you want is the one that has the aerial and possibly if your car has it the uh, multi changer um, now we follow that you see that hole let's zoom, zoom in you see that hole just there Obviously, that's where the cables come out. Uh, that is the same hole or that channel that goes down the side of the dashboard down to where the clutch bit is. So, roughly where that cable is down there, this one coming out there, there is a, the, the channel for it to go in. So, what I need to do is this cable here, we need to push up all the way until it comes up to the top here. Um, so, yeah, what I'll do, I'll uh, stop the video and uh, I'll make that happen. 
Okay guys, so I've now got the cable through that channel. I will say, you will have to pull this cable back out and along with the antenna cable, uh, pull that back out uh, in order to squeeze this through the channel. Now it will go in, you just you might have to bend just one of these back so it looks like that. It is doable, you can get it in the hole. Um, but yeah, so that's that one. Now the other side, um, which obviously because I changed the stereo, it has one of them. Now what you can do um, is basically just unplug this and plug this directly into this harness here. Now with this last one, you can actually just cut it. You know, just cut it. Don't worry about you know getting shorts or anything like that because you disconnected the other end. There's no power on this at all now, so this is now obsolete. Now, if you didn't, um, they, there is a way on how to fit an after stereo market to a C5. Hence, why it's got these other two cables. Uh, now, I did do a video on it recent, well, I wouldn't say recently, maybe last year, about how to fit a stereo to a C5. I will add a link to the description on how to do that. Um, now, there is two. Um, it's just at some point I will be changing the loom, so it's only a temporary fix. Uh, my own, well, my ultimate plan is to change the dashboard, but fit one with the sat nav in it so um, it, the car will have sat nav um, that is like later down in well I would say probably about six months or so maybe a year before I actually get around to doing this there's quite a lot of stuff that I've actually got to try and do and test to see if it's you know if it's able to do what it needs to do um, but yeah like I say just temporary I've only just put this in but if you are thinking of installing it uh, permanently make sure that the red wire uh, which is the ignition on and off comes off the cigarette lighter um, so let's just cut you know all that stuff watch the video um, you understand right now I did pull the plastic trim off around here all I've basically done is just squeezed it slightly and then pulled it out um, regards to that hole, I've now fitted that switch in there. And it looks like that. So now what I need to do is feed the wire from here. Um, yeah, it's going to be a nice tight fit. Somehow I've got to get my hand in there to feed the wire down to about here. So you may have to take the screen out. It's only two screws on either side. Again, it's a T20. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly pull the screen out, feed the cable through so the cable's here. I'll even put the trim back in and I will bring you back. Right, guys. So as you can see, the panel is nice and back in with the old little switch. Um, I have... Uh, put the panel back in the cable that was here is now up and then across this way to here uh, Now the twisted one is the switch This wire here comes Obviously, this is the wire that goes down down this way down The trim all the way to the back now the other wire um, I fed it through again that hole comes down to here now, that is the fuse. Now, your eagle eyes will say, oh, well, that's a 3 amp fuse. And you'd be right. I don't actually have a 1 amp fuse. But this is only until tomorrow because, obviously, it's bloody dark out there. And uh, according to my computer, it's half nine at night. So uh, I'm not exactly going to find a fuse anywhere soon. Um, so, yeah, uh, a 3 amp fuse is the smallest fuse that I've got. Uh, so that's what I'm going to use just to make this video. Now the other end of this is another little piggyback. Uh, let's see if we're getting the light. And there you go. One of them. Little crimp things. I don't like these. I hate these. Uh, but it's what I've got on the back of my um, USB. So I need to connect uh, the other end to the positive side for the... 
um, cigarette lighter or in my case the USB port so um, I'll plug that back in uh, all the trim needs to go back in and um, the obviously the, the the other reason for having the fuse near the cigarette lighter is you can just pull this off and the fuse is right there so it's easy to change if the fuse ever blows um, yeah and again all that you can just push that back in don't need it anymore uh, and same as that all that that will get all connected back up and put the trim back in so um, I'll quickly do the old uh, put in the, the stuff back together and I'll bring you back right guys so everything is back to normal uh, including the stereo um, so the fuse is put in, everything's all back to how it was. Let's go down to the back. Uh, now this is where the fun begins. Right, so this is that blue wire that goes down to the front. And this is actually pin 14. Uh, just zoom in, there's pin 14, which is obviously the red wire that goes to the lock. Now the other side of the wire, I have actually taped it off. Uh, I will make this look a bit pretty. Um, yes, I can use the soldering iron uh, with the crimps, but I've got plans of changing all of this anyway, um, fairly soon. So all of this is gonna get redone at a later stage. But just for now, and just, well, basically just for the sake of this video, um, I'm just going to do it this way because I don't expect you guys at home to get the old soldering iron out and do this and do that and uh, this is a sort of like a basic way of doing it um, like I say this is all getting changed because it's not up to my spec but in your case at least it's something that even somebody who isn't electrical minded can actually do this at home right so I'm going to get out of the car, I'm going to remove my trusty uh, um, yeah, brush, holder, door, whatever you want to call it. Now it is closed. Now what I am going to do, obviously I did double check my phone, Bluetooth is switched off. Now I'm going to turn the ignition on and then I'm going to hit this button and oh look. I just heard that. So, oh look, yes. And just so that you guys, you know, I'm literally just gonna randomly go there. As you can see, my stereo switched on, everything else is switched on. I'm just gonna hit this button and I can just hear that. And oh look, that works again. So, uh, no fakery. Um, yeah. Oh, crap. I can't remember how to set my stereo up and it's doing the old uh, demo thing. Um, yeah. <laughs> Obviously, if you use a standard stereo, you won't have this issue because as soon as you turn the ignition on, everything all works as it should. So... Um, yeah, I'm not going to tell you guys how to suck eggs because what would the uh, fun in that? As you can see, um, everything all works as it should. Um, I will say, you know, uh, put the panels back in with the two screws, don't forget the covers that go up and down here. Um, yeah, and put the junk back in. Right guys, so like I said, you know, I didn't really want to go pop a full on pelt because I don't expect you guys at home, uh, I, I don't want to insult anyone, but I know that some people aren't electrically minded and a job like this, you know, you can see what I've used in a fuse holder, you can see that I've used some crimps, you can even see I've actually used a cable. So even you guys at home would be able to do this. Um, so, yes. 
Um, it's not up to my standard, uh, so I'm going to go and redo it my way. Uh, but this is just a quick little video on how to fix the glass. Um, yeah, the safe, the safe way. Uh, not my way, but it's a safe way that I'm happy enough that people like yourself can do it at home. Um, yeah, right, so... Um, it's quarter past, it's quarter to ten, I reckon. I think I might do it tomorrow, because I'm kind of still... It's almost like jet lag, but from the weekend, so... I think I'll do it tomorrow, but uh, I will redo my car. Um, anyway, guys, so this video was um, sorting out the rear window and also physically removing out that uh, traffic master. Now, I thought I did uh, when I first got this car, but clearly I didn't. I forgot. And, yeah, so, what can I say? A bit of randomness. Um, yeah, bending over and all that stuff. I seem to have lost my glasses and now my hair's a bit of a mess. But, hey -o, hashtag have long hair. Uh, right, guys, I'm going to leave it here. Uh, if you like what you see, please give us a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And just may, just may, at some time, hopefully soon, I will be uploading another video. I can't guarantee if it's going to be the national, but we will see. Right, take care. See you soon.